Okay guys, we have a major problem. So as you might know, Walgreens has some new mystery packs out that are telling you you have a chance to pull a base set two pack inside. Now, I found some at this Walgreens yesterday, went home last night, got ready to film the video and realized all of the packs had been cut open on the bottom of them. Now this is insane, but hopefully they're gonna refund me for all of these. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Okay, first I wanna to check to see if the other ones are still on the display and if they're also cut open. All right, here we go, all on camera. All on camera, grabbing one right off the shelf and there it is, sliced open. All right, let's go find the manager. They cut through all of them. Um. You have a, oh, you have your, yeah, I have what I bought and, full, and my receipt and everything. What are you guys going to do with these ones now? Um, I'm going to contact um, the vendor because these don't even come in from a like, regular warehouse. They come in from like FedEx. FJ Holden, so I'll see. just send them back and... Uh, all right guys they refunded it they were cool about it their answer as to how it happened still is a little sketchy to me I, the way the guy responded i don't know i kind of feel like they knew more than that they were saying but at least they refunded it now we got to go to more walgreens and try to find these mystery packs okay getting lucky at the first walgreens here they've got a bunch of them and you know i've got to check Looks like they're all sealed up. They don't have the other ones though. I think I'm just gonna get one of this box. Okay, looks like this Walgreens was legit and the ones that they had weren't cut open, but they didn't have the mystery ones that I wanted. So let's go check a few more Walgreens. Walgreens number two. All right, let's check the toy aisle out. I wasn't seeing the mystery hanger and uh, just these tins and Jurassic World in there. That's kind of weird. Nothing here at the Walgreens, but they said they might have some in the back. So let's wait around and see. Okay, they didn't have the mystery hanger, but they might have had something better. The Squishmallows and the Jumbo one. No mystery packs at this Walgreens, but I found the Squishmallows. Let's check one more store and then go back to the studio. Okay, Walgreens number three, be the good luck charm, and here we go. This looks like almost a fresh display that they've put out. Not gonna get the bigger box, definitely gotta check to make sure these are sealed. They're looking good. Let's go home and open all of these up. Back in the studio, guys, what a crazy day. Drop a like on this video if you can, and if you haven't already, follow the channel by hitting that totally free subscribe button. I really can't believe that in two years of making videos that something like this hasn't happened yet. Like, got home, was all excited to film this, noticed the edge looked kind of weird, and saw that they were all cut open. Unbelievable, but was able to find some more here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I was able to grab eight of these, and I checked and made sure they are all completely, completely sealed. I don't know, I don't wanna call out anybody in particular at the Walgreens, but like I said, it just seemed kinda of shady. They said they had only put them out the night before, before they closed, and when I found them, it was pretty early in the morning after opening. I don't know how they didn't notice someone sitting there cutting the cards open, but whatever, got them refunded, was able to find some new ones, was able to find a sealed one of these too, and now every time I check these, I can't believe I haven't been before, but I'm going to check every edge of this inside the store to make sure it's sealed. So open up all these mystery packs, and then at the end, because they're mystery packs, I have a nice little palette cleanser of some Crown Zenith here to save the day, or maybe the day won't need saving. Here we go. Let's let's just start off with this giant mystery power box. Where's the Giratina pin? Lucky Giratina pin. What are they telling us we can get inside of here? Two booster packs and one pack of sleeves. Now this was $19.99. That is way too much to pay for two packs of cards and a pack of sleeves. But you know me, I love mystery boxes. I always gotta grab them and open them up. They're showing us that Double Crisis could be the chase or Okay, it's looking like maybe just Double Crisis is what we're looking for. And for sleeves, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say the Charizard sleeve is the case. So hopefully I pull a Charizard sleeve. Let's cut right into this and see. We probably can get the pin right on the side. There we go. 
mystery power box. First time I've seen one of these with only two packs inside. It's a really large box for just that, but let's open up the side right here and see if I can pull out the sleeves first. Okay, do we get Charizard sleeves? Maybe, maybe. Okay, Squirtle, I'll totally take some Squirtle sleeves. That's pretty cool. Not something that I would really buy myself, but again, definitely not worth the price of this box. First pack inside is a Brilliant Stars. Okay, I'm looking for that alternate art Charizard V from Brilliant Stars, so not bad, but again, really would not pay $20 for two packs of Brilliant Stars, so hopefully the other pack in here is something better. Maybe at least Evolving Skies. We've got Monferno, and look at them putting Evolving Skies on the front of the box, too. It's like they know. Chime Echo, Chimchar, Double Turbo Energy, and Dredgeon for the rare. All right, what is the second pack and final pack? Oh, I felt like there wasn't one in there for a second. Okay, here we go. Lost Origin. All right, nothing crazy in this first box here, unless this Lost Origin pack has some fire in it. I'm looking for that alternate art. Giratina V-Star, get you a code, and let's get four to the front here. That would be insane to pull it from one of these mystery boxes. We've got the Poliwhirl, Haunter, Pikachu, Machop, Shuppet, Seal, Rock Ruff, Clefable for the reverse, and a Hisuian Zarark V-Star. All right, better than being completely empty. I'll take a V-Star. Let's drop the Zarark into a sleeve. Bam, all right, let's get into these mystery packs here. I'll kind of move them aside. First one, they're showing us we have a chance to pull base set two. Now, base set two on eBay, looking within the last few days, has a sold listing for $150. So if you really, really want a base set two pack, I would suggest just buying it. It says seated one in 10 here. So if you bought 10 of these, it's not guaranteed that you're gonna pull one, but even the amount that it would cost to buy 10 is more than the cost of one base set two pack. So let's rip right into these. Hopefully we can get at least something crazy. Curious what their other chases will be, because there's always something else besides what they put on the front. Like one time it was Hidden Fates. All right, we've got the Vigoroth for the reverse and first pack in here is a Darkness Ablaze. All right, you know, this pack art, three times for me has had a Charizard uh, VMAX in it. Bam, there's a code for you. Let's see if I can pull a fourth Charizard VMAX or the infamous Rainbow Rare Butterfree that I've been trying to pull since Darkness Ablaze came out. We've got the Skitty, Dino, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce, Jigglypuff again, and a Hollow Copperaja for the rare. All right, let's rip into this one here too. I wanna get at least one, one chase pack out of these. These are kind of hard to open. All right, we've got Croagonal and Brilliant Stars. Okay, let's rip through it for Brilliant Stars. Do the card trick on all of these. Bam, there's a code for you. Let's get four to the front. Definitely some more from Brilliant Stars that I wanna pull besides that Charizard. I think there's about four trainer galleries left that I need to finish them all out. Clefairy, Wormadam, and S Cavalier for the rare. Okay, let's keep it going. So far, I'd say for sure no chase pack, but again, not sure besides the base set two what the chase pack would be. Darkness Ablaze again. All right, I was hoping for maybe like some sun and moon sets or something a little bit better than Darkness Ablaze. Let's get this code out of the way. Bam, let's get four to the front for Darkness Ablaze. Lucky Leaf Energy. Will I ever pull the Rainbow Rare Butterfree? I know it's just like a $4 card and I should totally just go out and buy it, but I wanna pull it. And I'm not pulling it from that pack. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five of these left. Can we get an older pack? What's in this one? Brilliant stars. I don't know why it looked different for a minute. And the Chin Chow reverse. Has anyone ever gotten like a cool card as the reverse that they throw in here? I know they always put a reverse hollow in there and they say one foil card. Like that's something really, really spectacular. But I guess it could be if they actually put like an ultra rare or higher in there, I feel like they could have at least given us a V instead of a reverse. We've got the Impidimp, Magmar, Fracture, and Luxray for the non hollow rare. Okay, four packs left after this one. What do we got in here? Is it looking? Uh, it's looking like Darkness Ablaze again. Okay, bam, Darkness Ablaze. I guess that gets a bam. Why did it seem like that was open on the top? 
That's weird. These mystery boxes sketch me out every time. There's the code for you. Let's see if we can at least get something better than a hollow from Darkness Ablaze. Lucky Leaf, we've got Cape of Toughness, Carnivine, Grimer, Dar uh, Darumaka, Sintret, Rowlet, Scovit, I'm losing my voice, Panseer for the reverse, and Hollow Tyranitar for the rare. Not a single pull yet from any of these packs, and there's two left after this one. Hitmonchan for our foil card and another darkness ablaze okay well the only way that this could turn out okay now is if one of these darkness ablaze has a charizard or the butterfree inside there's like some tape on this let's get four to the front for darkness and another lucky leaf energy getting a lot of lucky leafs but not getting the luck from them we got the rowlet jigglypuff diglet pan force spinarak toxel and the swana for the rare okay two packs left here look at that kind of can see this pack sticking out of the side i'm gonna guess darkness ablaze again let's rip into this we've got yep sun and moon badge for our reverse and darkness ablaze all right hopefully one of these darkness has some fire in it otherwise this would be like probably the worst mystery boxes that i've ever opened bam there's another code for you four more to the front here for sure gonna whoa is that three lucky leaves in a row that's actually like really weird like same pack art and everything we got the scovit spinarak larvista familiar bell as we feel the familiar pack here we go bear tick for the rare okay crown zenith is gonna definitely have to save the day unless this last mystery pack has something insane inside of it let's see what we can get though you guys know me i always love mystery boxes and no matter what i'll probably keep buying them what do we have in here all right bergmite and a shining fates pack now i never whoa and it's like a miscut shining fates pack look at that a little bit of the wrapper on top from the other wrapper is stuck on there i wonder if that means there'll be anything crazy inside let's rip right into this Bam, haven't opened any Shining Fates in a while. Gonna have all good code cards in Shining Fates. Let's get four to the front here. Definitely a ton of baby Shinies that I need, and I never pulled the VMAX Charizard on my own. We've got Eldegoss, Dartrix. I ended up being gifted it by my awesome friend Matt from Mortal Kombat Podcast. Trap Inch, Yanma, <sighs> Eevee in our shiny spot, hiding a non-hollow boss's order for the rare. Okay, I don't know. I might grab one more of those if I see them out in the wild, but definitely not gonna grab that many of them again. Here we go, four packs of Crown Zenith. Let's just, let's get the palettes cleansed from this uh, terrible mystery box opening. Bam, and let's get four to the front for Crown Zenith. I'm not sure besides the Dialga, what I'm really looking for to pull now from Crown Zenith. Definitely a ton of Galarian galleries that I need. So let's see if we can add one to the binder today. We've got Tangela and there we go. Adding the Turtwig to the binder. I've almost pulled the entire image that these cards create. Turtwig hiding Bay B Bay. I think I've been saying her name wrong this whole time. Let's drop Turtwig into a sleeve. Bam. And yeah, I guess I was right. Crown Zenith definitely turning this day around, but it's going to be hard not to grab another one of those mystery boxes if I see them. Let's get four to the front here for Crown. These four packs. Here we go. Lucky Leaf Energy. Let's see if this one actually brings us some luck. These four packs were from one of the Reggie Drago boxes. We got the Larvista, the Wooloo, the Ponard, Whalmer, and Raihan from the Galarian Gallery. Another one that I needed for the binder. What are you hiding? The Darulodon V Max, one that I also needed. Adding two to the binder from one pack. Definitely the day was saved by Crown Zenith. Let's drop you both into a sleeve. Bam, this is incredible. I feel like I am getting so, so close to completing Crown Zenith, but there's definitely a ton of Galarian galleries that I still need. Let's rip into these last two packs here. Let everybody know in the comments too, if you opened any of these mystery packs from Walgreens, what your experience was with them. And uh, if you saw any of them cut open like that, I noticed on some of these ones too, I forgot until just now, but it almost looked like there was some weird mark on the bottom of these ones too. I don't know if it was a factory thing 
or what we've got the grub in and there we go reverse hollow lucky leaf energy i'm super stoked on that one and the double in the back let's grab a sleeve for the lucky leaf i think i've actually pulled all of the reverse hollow energies but I do need to check. Last pack magic today from Crown Zenith, saving the day from these just atrocious mystery boxes, and probably the only bad experience that I've had since starting this channel with getting packs that had been opened or searched through. Let's get four to the front today for the last time. We've got fighting energy. Let's fight our way to a pull. Rescue Carrier, Salazzle, that is the worst joke, you guys. I don't know how you let me get away with that. Pokeball, we've got Corpish, Oddish, Seal, Galarian Gallery. Ah, oh, it's just the Aggron for the reverse and a non-hollow Yan Mega. But you know what? I might go look for one more of those mystery boxes. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post a new one every Wednesday and every Saturday. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys in one of these older videos right here.